Good morning, readers. We're going to go ahead and go over our teaching point for today. Alrighty. And what that's going to look like today is this. This is a must-do teaching point, okay? Readers notice that historical fiction is about more than just plot. We look beyond what's happening to uncover underlying topics and themes. So what we're going to be doing today is what are some of the topics in our book? I want you to ask yourself that question. And as I think of Blood on the River, I'm thinking about some of the things that are happening with friendship and courage and anger, okay? These are some of the topics I'm thinking about, okay? And then I want you to ask yourself, what is the message about this topic, okay? And then write that message. And we're really trying to dive into theme through this teaching point, okay? Here are some of the things I came up with. When I think about the topics in Blood on the River, friendship, anger, and courage, I'm gonna ask myself, what's the message about that? So for friendship, what's the message about friendship? Well, good friends will get you through the hard times in your life, absolutely. These are things that these um, themes or these messages are things that can be kind of translated across um, various books or maybe messages about life. So you want to make them kind of more broad um, and not so specific to your book. Okay. Anger. Well, in Blood on the River, anger and aggression do not get you in good situations. That's definitely um, a theme in this book. And that can be translated across many different books, right? The final topic in my book, one of the things that is really, really prevalent is courage. It takes courage to stand up to the things you fear. Once you do, you feel strong. So once again, taking us through that um, idea that listing topics and then going ahead and then asking yourself what's the message about that topic and really trying to make it really broad, okay? <clears throat> What you're going to do now is you're going to choose um, how you're going to write this out. So many of you have a Google Doc. Many of you are doing this in a notebook or maybe on Google Slides. But this is your turn now to practice this skill. So let's go ahead and remember to first list the topics. So you can have a box listing your topic and then asking yourself what is the message about that topic. Here is one little kind of graphic organizer that you can copy and push yourself to think of multiple topics, okay? Um, you can use this skill um, as you're reading books to dive deeper into the topics and themes. And once again, this is a must-do teaching point, readers. So off you go. Have a great day.